guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel i am sadetti ken so in this video i'm doing another quick hair tutorial and in this hair tutorial i'll be showing you all how to do a bleach bath on a 1b wig and this wig is of course from my company sadetti wigs which will be linked down below this process is very easy to follow along with so you're going to start out by having something to mix your bleach and developer together and also bleach the hair in so i'm starting out by using this bw2 bleach and i'm putting in about three scoops of the bleach in now normally i don't like to use bw2 to actually bleach hair but this is for a friend's wig and this was the bleach that she gave me so this is what i was using but normally i have this brand i like to order off of amazon it bleaches the hair really good and lifts the hair so i will link that down below but of course you can also just go to the beauty supply and get this bw2 powder now for the developer i was using a 30 volume developer um and for the amount i put in there really wasn't a certain amount of course you just want to mix it until your bleach is a certain consistency so for this you are not like bleaching knots or anything this is for hair so the bleach does not have to be super thick but of course you also don't want it too watery so it's really something that you have to do by eye and one thing i will say is it may be easier to make the bleach in a smaller container and then pour it because as you all can see i did have to like move this container all around to like get the bleach powder from getting stuck in the corners and so it could all mix with the developer so yeah i would take that in consideration and maybe mixing the bleach in a smaller container and then pouring it or transferring it into your bigger container to actually bleach the hair but of course this is completely optional if you don't feel like doing all that extra work you do not have to so once I had that mixed up, I felt that it still was not enough. Now this is also optional and the main reason I'm saying that is because we are going to add water to this mixture to make it cover the whole wig for the bath. So you don't have to add a product automatically. You could wait to see how it does. But I just wanted to do this just because I personally felt like it needed more. So I added three more scoops of bleach and then I also added more developer of course because I do not want the mix too powdery. Now like I said this is optional. If you don't have this much product then when you add the water it'll be, it should be able to stretch it. But if you do have the bleach available I would just add a little bit more than three scoops um, depending on the length and density, density of the wick you're using. Once you have your mixer made, the next thing you're going to do is add hot water. This is what's going to make it a bleach bath. Now, I'm so sorry you all that I do not have any measurements. I feel like this will make the video a lot easier to follow. But I would say that I just eyeballed the water and I added an amount of water to where it looked like, okay, this is enough water to cover the entire wig, but it's not enough. It's not too much water to where this mixture is going to be only water and not enough bleach. Because if you all see right there, I would say I added maybe about two inches of water or one and a half inches of water. And of course, that would also depend like on how um, whatever you're mixing your solution in, like how that is made. But yeah, um, I just added about an inch of water. And this container is pretty big. So yeah. Once you add the warm water, also go in to make sure that the bleach and developer is mixed throughout the water and make sure everything is blending in together just because you know you don't want it to be powdery or anything else like that. You want to make sure that the wig has a fair chance to, you know, bleach correctly. Once you have the mixer made, you, of course you want to put on gloves um, because you're going to be having to touch the bleach and water. And yeah, I don't know. I hate the feeling of bleach on my hand. It feels like there's something eating at my fingers. But anyways, once you have that, you just want to stick the wig into the mix. I definitely feel like I probably could have added more water. I just wanted to make sure that my mixer was not like too diluted but yeah you just want to stick the wig all in there uh, for me i'm dying this entire wig which means i didn't have to worry about uh, the knots getting over bleached or anything like that because i was bleaching this entire wig and you just want to make sure that you run this wig through this bath before you just let it sit there so that it can you can already make sure that the mixture is coating the wig now one problem that i did make here um and make sure you don't make the same mistake is you can see i'm basically just covering the outside of the wig make sure that you pull the wig apart and that you really get that middle good because i ended up having to go back in the end and do that but if you cover the wig from the beginning um the middle with bleach or whatever else then you won't have to do that and as you all can see right here i was just adding 
more developer just because I felt like my mixture was a little watery and I wanted to make sure that it was going to cover the wick good. I will also say this is a good way to know if your mixture is too watery or if you should add more product. I would say that the mixture, of course, is supposed to be watery, but if it's just like slipping right off of the wig, then you may want to consider adding more bleach in developer just because you want the you want to make sure basically that the product is actually sticking to the wig a little. And I felt like before I added this more um, bleach in developer, that um, the mixture really wasn't sticking to the wig; it was just like gliding off. And you're gonna see like after I mix this together and put the wig back in, like how the mixture was sticking to the wig versus how it looked in the beginning and this is how it was looking once the wig was coated with the mixture once i um added more product and as you can see it was just like sticking a lot better and it actually looked like there was bleach in it rather than it just being like you know some water so at this point i knew my mixture was good because the wig actually started to lighten a little bit right in front of me if you all can notice it does not look as dark so I, at this point, I was like, okay, you know, I feel like I have like played around with the wig and the mixture enough. I can now let it start sitting here. Um, but of course, you know, still just putting a bleach into the wig. But pretty soon, I'm basically just going to leave the wig sitting in the bleach. And that's how we're going to have the wig start to lighten. And it does not take long at all because it's nice in here in this bleach bath. To so also reduce the amount of time that the wig was sitting in the bleach bath, I put some foil on top so that just as how when you're bleaching hair, you can use foils to lighten the hair quicker. That's the same concept here. I'm putting the foil around this container so that the hair will lighten quicker. After that, you want to set a timer and come check on the wig. I set my timer for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes, this is what the wig was looking like. And as you can see, the wig lightened pretty good for only 10 minutes, especially if you were to take in like 10 minutes of doing foils and bleaching a wig like the OG way instead of a bleach bath. In 10 minutes, you would not have this much hair lightened. So this was very, very good for 10 minutes. However, I did want my wig to be lighter than this only because the wig I was dying was going to be um, a lighter color. So I needed a lighter base to start out with, but this was a really good start. After that, I added more bleach and developer just so that I could try to lighten the wig a little more. I didn't even want the wig to sit in the same mixture it was just in before just because it may not have lightened more. But honestly, it may have and I sort of tested that before I added the product. But um, yeah, I did just go in and add a little bit more product, but this may also be optional. Once I added more product, I repeated the same exact process of putting the wig in the mixture playing with it making sure that the mixture coated the hair everywhere and then putting the foil on the mixture so that the heat would get trapped in to lighten the hair quicker so after that instead of setting a timer i basically just kept going back and checking on the wig to see when it looked lighter and i decided once the wig started to look lighter that's when i would pull it out instead of putting it on a time restraint and as you all can see here this wig looks a lot brighter and a lot lighter i definitely would recommend using this bleach bath method as it dies through i mean it bleaches the wig very quickly to make it easier for dyeing if you have ever dyed a wig the regular i mean bleach the wig the regular way you know how time consuming it can be so i definitely would recommend using this bleach bath method as it was very effective for me but anyways if you like this video and want more hair tip videos or hair tutorials be sure to subscribe like and comment so i can keep making videos like this and this was my end result thank you all so much for watching